Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking again about Vladimir Putin and the sanctions, the BS sanctions that people are supposed to care about or pretend to care about. Now, I normally don't harp on political stuff that often. I, I don't typically keep going down the rabbit hole, if you will, with political nonsense. I tend to talk about other things. I talk about pretty much anything, but I don't like screwing around with politics too much. But from a psychological point of view or a philosophical point of view, a lot of this is very interesting, especially when you talk about sanctions and protests and boycotts and things like that with what's going on right now in the world with Ukraine and Russia and all of that and the sanctions that are imposed that are ridiculous. And yesterday even just talking about the vodka, people dumping out vodka and how foolish that is. I had just done a video about that yesterday. And true enough, somebody crunched the numbers and it was in the news this morning that technically after everybody's making a big deal of all, oh, I'm dumping out vodka, which you don't even know if they really are. They could have been pouring out bottles of water for all we know, because most of what you see is fake. Pretty much everything you hear and they used to say half of what you see. It's more like 90% of what you see now because there's so much fakeness and you got CGI and all sorts of other things going on. You don't know what's real and what isn't. But they crunched the numbers and drew the conclusion and you can't trust statistics that much either, so be careful. But according to them, less than 1% of the vodka that's purchased in the United States is Russian anyways. So what were you pouring out? Anyway, talking about Putin and the latest round of, of sanctions that are being imposed on him, and this one comes from the Taekwondo, World Taekwondo Association. And I read this and I was like, this is so freaking stupid on so many levels. I just want to share it. I just want to share it. And I'm going to read this. And this is from Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone published this morning because this was news this morning it was actually uh, bragged about in several news networks but this is the one from Rolling Stone and I'm gonna read it and I'm just gonna give you a few thoughts on this it says the international community has imposed a flurry of sanctions on Russia since the nation invaded Ukraine last week world Taekwondo stepped up on did its part that's bad syntax it actually says that stepped up and did its part is that what you meant stepped up on did its part on Monday, stripping Vladimir Putin of his honorary black belt. World Taekwondo has decided to withdraw the honorary ninth Dan black belt conferred to Mr. Vladimir Putin in November of 2013. The organization wrote in a statement noting that his brutal attacks on innocent lives violates the sport's motto of peace is more precious than triumph. And it goes on to say here that World Taekwondo revoking Putin's black belt is in the first rebuke from the world of martial arts. The International Judo Federation on Sunday suspended Putin's honorary status as president, citing the ongoing war conflict in Ukraine. Putin is a big fan of hand-to-hand -hand combat, especially judo. He's both practiced the sport personally and taken in as a spectator at the 2012 Olympics in London. Big deal. All right, so basically, in a nutshell, this is an honorary title. This is an honorary title that we're talking about, and they're making a huge big deal about it in the news, as if, even if it was a real title, that Putin would be sitting there going, oh my God, they're taking away my title? I guess I'd better stop what I'm doing in the Ukraine. That's really going to happen. He really cares about a fake black belt title that the World Taekwondo Association gave to him in 2013 to lick his boots then. Because that's all the, these honorary titles, titles are, is schmoozing at its finest. They suck up to some celebrity or someone else of notability. By the way, Barack Obama also has an honorary ninth Dan title from the World Taekwondo Association. And I bet he couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. But... The point is, it's it's just like when you go to speak at a college, like if I was real famous for some reason, and I was invited to speak at Oxford, and they gave me an honorary doctorate from Oxford University. I can't put doctor on my resume, because the title is bullshit. It's just a, a thank you 
if you will, honorary title means nothing. If they take away your pretend title, you've lost nothing. This is how celebrities and politicians and people of that ilk play uh, pretend as grown-ups. I pretend I have a doctorate. I pretend I have a black belt because they gave me one. Oh, look, look at my little certificate. I'm a doctor. <laughs> like we're in kindergarten <laughs> playing dress up or something. It's ridiculous. And they make a huge big deal out of this. Oh, Putin, we got him again. We took away his honorary black belt. Who cares? Who cares? I have two. I don't even know where the certificates or the belts are. I don't even think I have them anymore. Uh, and this is from way back. I got one from Valari Studios, and these are both when I was living in Boston. One from Valari Studios and one from uh, Chong Wudo Wei. And I don't know where those certificates are. I don't think I have them anymore. It, so uh, if they told me I'm stripped of my title, who gives a shit? You know, if you actually earned the title and they took away your status, does that take away your knowledge? Does that take away what you have personally earned from it? No. And in this case, like I said, we're talking about uh, a title that's not even real. And again, he's a judo guy anyway. He was a judo guy. I don't know what his actual rank is in judo off the top of my head. I know he has an honorary, like I, we just read there, he has an honorary title in that as well. But an honorary Taekwondo title, I don't even know if I would want to bother to accept something like that. You know what I mean? It's like if I was called on the phone, hey, we want to give you an honorary title in black belt. And the, yeah, okay, how old am I? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But this is how stupid people are. And I figured this out at a very young age, but it never ceases to amaze me. It makes me think of Gene Rayburn. You remember Gene Rayburn? Anybody here old enough to remember the original Match Game? Actually a really fun game show and fun to watch reruns of. If you go watch like the old Match Game 75, Match Game 76, and that's 1976 for the, those of you keeping track. Those, those shows are actually kind of fun to watch. But he had this bit, you're supposed to match the celebrity panel with the guess of the ending of a sentence, essentially. So he would say something like, Dumb Dora is so dumb, and then the audience would say, how dumb is she? You know, because the audience would chime in and say things uh, off the cuff from the, from the audience. And that's how I feel when I look out at people as a human race, and I keep saying to myself, how dumb are we? And it, it just never ceases to amaze me how far down the road that goes of just how stupid people really are, like any of this matters. The new term, virtue signaling, it's not a new concept, it's a very old concept, but the term is new. Sick and tired of all the virtue signaling, sick of things like this mattering. Um, amazed by people that think it's important or want to make it important. And the people that want to really make it important know everybody is stupid and they're playing off of it. And it's, it's, very, it's very important to highlight that, to shine a light on those kind of things, I believe. And you don't have to be well-educated to be a smart person. Let me point that out. Uh, I call that the Kit Carson scenario. If anybody remembers Kit Carson, he's one of the heroes of the Old West, if you will. I had done, uh, I had done a paper on him years and years and years ago. I found him to be the concept of who Kit Carson was to be rather fascinating. This is a guy who was a trailblazer. He ran wagon trains. He was a scout for the army. Uh, he was a, a trapper, a skinner, a leathersmith. He could speak, if I remember correctly, 12 or 13 different languages. Could not read or write. Never had any formal education. He couldn't even write his own name. Is he any less intelligent? Seems to me like the guy's brilliant. I can't speak 12 or 13 languages, can you? And sometimes that comments, all the common sense that man must have had from living out in the wild like that, like the way he did, is priceless. You know, so being educated doesn't necessarily make you smart, but you can be someone who's not well educated, who is intelligent enough to see through a lot of bill, a lot of bullshit, and I hope that a lot do. And I know I'm mostly preaching to the choir. 
you know, most of the people that are watching, I'm not hitting too many new viewers. YouTube's not allowing it. They're, they're really crunching the channel. But every once in a while, maybe, uh, maybe one will trickle through and find the video and they'll see it and they'll go, you know what? That kind of makes sense. And they'll think about it. Even if I'm wrong, it's okay if I'm wrong. But did it get you thinking? Did it get people thinking? I hope so, because that's, <laughs> that's the most I can hope for, is that people are at least using their brain. Anyway, thoughts about that? Feel free to post your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up. Easiest way to show your appreciation. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. Uh, Sharon, it's probably the only way it'll get seen. Again, the channel gets really abused by the powers that be. If you're wondering about the cat images, they're cats that I guess you can call them mine, if I can even claim ownership to a cat, because it's more like companionship. But they're cats I take care of that were strays. And the occasional dog, too, that I people abandon them, abandon them a lot around where I live, and I, I scoop them up. And the photos actually help with the loading algorithm for the channel. I've gone from, and I, people ask me a lot in the comment section, that's why I mentioned it. I've gone from damn near eight hours to get a video loaded to just under 10 minutes now, putting cat images on. A, a tip from a viewer, and thank you. Um, if you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. And if that's it, then what more can I say but stay frosty, folks, and thanks for watching.